and he was jacking off on the other guy's <laughs> car. <laughs> Go to the police. My body is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 3 8 Combo Podcast, the world's most cool podcast. My name is Matt, and I'm here with Andy and Tyler. What's up, guys? Hi. First, we're going to talk about the biggest news this weekend. What? JB was in town. Oh, yeah. I heard Justin Bieber was in town. I also heard that the <laughs> that fucking everyone bum-rushed West Roads where he was last year, and the Omaha police had to be called. That fucking cunt yes. calls West Roads Mall the Omaha Mall. It makes it seem like we have one. We have more than one mall. Yeah. Well, we have like shopping we malls. We have two, really. We I have, mean, we have four. We've got Shadow oh, Lake, Village Point, yeah. Shadow Lake, yeah. Village Point, Oakview, West Roads. Crossroads still kind of exists. Shadow Lake's new to me. I haven't been there yet. Shadow Lake's nice. Is um, Crossroads is like half a mall. That, Crossroads isn't half a mall. It's like half a food court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot about Crossroads. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, that place is scary when it's you go in there. It's a ghost town. It's like oh. the anime shop and then Barnes and Noble. Wait, no, Barnes and Noble's closed. Tyler, let's go spelunking in Crossroads tomorrow. Oh, no. Come on, dude. Not. You're gonna get We're going to get shot or stabbed or worse. Shot and stabbed. <laughs> or shot with knives. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be shitty. Knife gun. <laughs> Maybe we can go to Family Fun Center, too, while we're in the area. <laughs> that's no, gone. that moved. 108th and L. 108th and L. Oh, and L. Right. Family it Fun did. Center XL. Yeah. It's, XL um, bra. It's a bigger dump. <laughs> ah. That's good. It's Have really, you been there? Yeah. It's, the new one? It's really not that much better. I, I, it's yeah. bigger. It's in a nicer area. And in a nicer area, but it's not that much better. <laughs> well, if you, have a, can't decent, if you have a decent computer, it's better than Family Fun Center. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a PlayStation 2, it's a little bit funner than Family Fun Center. A little more fun. You got mini golf. Mini golf's kind of fun. Yeah. You but get that on your PlayStation 2. But too. yeah, we, we got a putt putt, like a 90th and Blondo or He's something. It's actually a good putt putt, too. Yeah, it's a good Boulder putt-putt. Creek out in Old Millard is pretty good. Boulder Creek. Fuck Boulder Creek. What? I've had you a lot of, get... have a lot of run ins with a guy that owns the place when I worked at the UPS store. Really? Yeah. A lot of things like, hey, could you print 5,000 of these flyers uh, by clothes tonight? And then he shows up three days later to pick them up. <laughs> what a douchebag. I know. <laughs> what a douchebag. 5,000 flyers? Yeah. What, does he need to put one like on every square foot? Yeah, pretty much. And then, he, then he has this, like, his number two guy is such a bro. It's so <laughs> annoying. Yeah. Sup, man? What do you want, dude? Just... What's your order? He sends you a picture of his dick, just photocopied. I'm gonna need about five thousand copies of these. Yeah, I'm gonna need a few of these. Like what you see, you can keep a copy for yourself. He d- he never comes back. So when you find the call, him, he's like, "Yeah, I just wanted you to have five thousand copies of my dick." <laughs> Is it easy to make copies? You just hit a couple buttons and it's like. Boom. Oh yeah, especially when you really learn how to use the thing. Like when people want them stapled or like collated and stuff like that, you can just. Let it do its thing. Nice. The only thing I, I ever had problems with was the bypass tray. Sometimes it doesn't want to uh, print. Dick. You know, uh, do you know what a bypass tray is? Yeah. Okay. It's the... It's Good, the, I don't have to explain uh, it to the audience because it's not riveting. Yeah. Um, all right, well, <laughs> we went from Justin Bieber to that. All right. Uh, yeah, JB was here. Bunch of preteen girls... Flock them all. There you know, I heard that was actually just a rumor. He never actually went to Westroads. I guess he was actually at Oakview. He he said something uh, to the effect of back home, like back home or something. Back or, to the Omaha. Wow. Fuck it, it. Like back stateside or something. I think he was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of speaking out of my ass. But then he um, said something like back at Omaha Mall or something like that. There was a. Which, by the way, he wrote that song about Westroads. So if he's at Oakview, he doesn't know what fucking mall he's talking about <laughs> anymore. <laughs> That man, that fucking Justin Bieber's not even. Wait, a he man. wrote a song about. West I thought Coast? I thought it would be really Hold funny on, if uh, we got just I don't know one of your chick friends on here and be like, oh, we got a phone call with Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh my god, is Justin Bieber like from Omaha? No, no, he's from he Canada. Just... Oh, that's right, he is from Canada. He, well, just... he has a song called Omaha Mall. He just got some infatuation with Westroads. I mean, Westroads is pretty sweet. It's I'm gonna a pretty be honest. nice mall. It's really nice, but. 
Yeah. He wrote a little rap about it, and you can I, find it on YouTube. I don't know. It if sounds it, like a little twat. I don't know if it's worth. It sounds in all of his songs. I don't know if it's worth making a song about. I mean, yeah. it's Westroads. Well, apparently, that one band did that sounds exactly like Vampire Weekend, but isn't Vampire Weekend? Three Eleven. No, the one with the little three eleven is from Omaha. The pumped up kicks and the running. Oh, of, Foster the People. Yeah, yeah, Foster that's the supposed people. to be about the Von Mars shooting. <clears throat> so that's kind of like about Westroads. Oh well, that's not a good thing about Westroads. No, <laughs> but it's about Westroads. <laughs> There's two songs about Westroads. Sick Puppy should have done a song about Westroads because they came here and did the free hugs. Oh yeah. After that shooting, they could have made a song about free hugs in Omaha. You uh, you know what concert I was at the night that that uh, happened? What? Avril Lavigne. Andy. Why on fourth, earth were you at an Avril Lavigne? Fourth row, me and my buddy. I, were I thought you were about there. to say fourth time. No, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You and your buddy? Yeah. You didn't go with uh, your girlfriend at the time? Nope. Andy. It would have been it would have been Diane at the time. And yeah. But she was like, I'm not having any of that. I'm like, but Avril's really hot. And so so I sent out like go a to mass Google, Google Andy. Google image search. <laughs> hey. I got four throw seats. I don't know. All right, all right, that's fine. I Avril drink. Lavigne. Not there yet. there were I'm sure you had there fun. were <laughs> a, quite a bit of uh, chimos there, dude. Child no. molesters. Oh God! Like they just I've never there heard the was term this chimo before. <laughs> there was this guy like two seats away from us, and I, I'm pretty sure it was his daughter that he brought. But holy shit, he had like the round glasses, the little like pencil mustache, and like short white hair, and, and just the whole time we're like, he's he's gonna take more than that girl home tonight. He's gonna take like five home. <laughs> Everyone hold hands. <laughs> Daisy it, chaining a bunch of girls. How old together. was Avril Lavigne at the time of this concert? Uh, it was oh. when that uh, girlfriend like, song came out. I don't know. 2007? Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like a girlfriend. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I do remember that song. Um, 2007, 2008? She's, she's got to be older. Than, she's older than us. She's yeah, older than she's even you, Andy, isn't us. she? Yeah, she's older than so us. She's she, way older than us. I think she's like almost in her 30s. Oh, that's not... I mean, that's not it's way not older. Though, after, after she got married to uh, Chad Kroger from Nickelback, I was like, nope, you lost your shit, Avril. <laughs> lost your shit. Speaking of someone that lost their shit, oh. fucking Amanda Bynes. Oh, oh my yeah. god! I've kind that of, is... I've kind of ignored it on the podcast because it's kind of like one of those gossipy things you see on E or something. But holy shit, Dude, she that, went off the deep end. That is a fun train wreck to watch. Have it's you seen the Drake, I've... the Drake tweet? Murder yeah, my where vagina? she just says she wants to. Yeah, she wants Drake like in her vagina or something. I want Drake to murder my or, vagina. Or murder my vagina. <laughs> yeah. And then she goes on to talk about how Drake is ugly. She has, like, a beef with Drake. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't make sense. And then, like, she had something with Rihanna and, like, was posting obviously Photoshop pictures of her and Rihanna together. <laughs> uh, she's just trying she's to soak up as much as she can with the limelight. Yeah. I guess. She keeps talking but, about dude, how she's like, she's like, I have no problem that I'm not acting anymore. I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah, she wants to do rap now. But... <laughs> She's but, like trying to milk that. But yes, dude, it was like it was like, oh, uh, hey, Amanda Bynes does some tweets every now and then. <laughs> it just took off. It dude, did. It's like, it's like when J.K. Rowling finished Harry Potter. She's like, oh, I'm done writing books. It's just, oh yeah, Dumbledore's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your god now? <laughs> Give me attention. <laughs> you loved me. <laughs> Classic. So podcast. Yeah. This is the podcast. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's our opening segment, Tyler. We just riff rap. Yeah. Steam summer sale coming up next Friday. We'll talk about it on Sunday when everyone's bought. Yeah. I I'm don't gonna, have any money anymore. <laughs> I, I, I took out a mortgage on my house. <laughs> I don't even own one. I sold a car. I sold my car for Steam, buddy. Oops. You're fine. I remember I actually knew somebody that got a mortgage. To buy a car. Do you think anyone have a house? Do you think anyone sucked dick for games? Someone on 4chan, I bet, has. <laughs> I don't Steam doubt... Steam giveaway thread. <laughs> Steam giveaway thread. <laughs> Slash Steam. hookup thread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta live here and here exactly, and I'll give you Deus Ex. Deus Ex? Is the that original. even on Steam? Yeah, Is I got a oh. Human Revolution on Steam. That well, I knew the new one was. Yeah. I didn't know it was the original Yeah, one. they sell them in packs every once in a while. Yeah. Nice, nice. I know they had System Shock to Steam, and that's yeah. cool. Uh, if we're going to talk about games, you guys want to go into gaming news? No. Sure. Tyler, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin! Peasant consoles or glorious PC master race? Choose your side. You know what she did for fun when she was your age? She pushed a hoop with a stick. This is gaming news. Oh. With a stick. What's up? 
I finished uh, The Last of Us. They should have just called it The Last Feeling You'll Ever Feel. <laughs> the Last Feel. You'll Ever Feel. Speaking of feels, I got the 400 Days expansion for How is it. it? It's, it's good. Is it? I, you know, I kept feeling like it was short, but the thing is it's five separate stories. And each story is short, but I played for like an hour and a half. That's about that's how long I'd play a chapter. That's about how, yeah, a chapter. In the, so well, That's not bad. I uploaded it to YouTube. Nice. I, I can't decide whether I want to buy it on the PlayStation Network or Steam. Um, does I, it does it take your choices from the first season into account? Uh, no, but oh. what it does is it's supposed to set up for the second season. All right. Well so then, the choices you make in this are supposed to set up things that happen in the second oh. season. Well, then, you know what? I'm totally okay with that. I'll buy it on PlayStation then. You should, should, buy, should buy it on Steam. Why? So remember we were going to stream, or not stream, but record our playthroughs without talking to each other about it? Oh, so we could each have a separate playthrough? God damn it. It's No, well, that's fine. I'll buy it on Steam. My, it, dad, my dad will buy it on PlayStation, then I'll get it that way. I mean, it's like four ninety nine. It's pretty oh, cheap. Oh, I thought we were talking about Season 2. Well, yes, but both of those. Because like, you have to do that one. That one sets up Season 2. So if you got that one on Steam, then you'd be able to set up Season Two on Steam. All right. I'll just I'll I'll just get it on Steam. That's easy. But yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. It's fun. All right. Not not a lot of feels to be honest, but you know. It's setting shit up, dude. Well, a, a puppy dies. Oh, that's hey, pretty sad. Well, Thanks actually, the puppy away. doesn't die. You find it dead. Uh, it's that's not really the same. No, kind of. You can see its eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's dead eyes. So, I have graphics. so uh, Xbox operating officer Don Matrick has moved to Zynga as the CEO. Yeah, because that was a smart move. Yeah, moving to Zynga. He probably just wants to get away from Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's Zynga again? Zynga. Zing, Zynga. Zynga. Facebook. Yeah, the Facebook they, they make those shitty oh, games. okay, like, the one that has like a dog as their emblem. Yeah. I, think. Uh-huh. yeah. Mm. I see it all the time because my family's like, come play Cityville, Slotsville. Yeah. Farm City. If they made one called Slutsville, I'd play it. <laughs> um, guess who's the new go-to guy for Xbox now to fill his place? Isn't it that Phil guy? No. Oh, Steve Ballmer? It's Steve Ballmer. Yeah! <laughs> developers, 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 <laughs> developers. Sweat developers. everywhere, pit out. Developers, developers. <laughs> we used to have that on the soundboard, I think. I used to, but I never played it, and now I don't have it yeah, anymore. that's fine. I have the clip somewhere, though. If I could just keep talking and stalling but... <laughs> like I am right now, I'm sure I could find it. He's no he's no Reggie, though. He's... No. I like Reggie better. And he's no that, that Kaz guy that PlayStation has. Kaz, I don't even know. I, he's some Asian. Reggie's the best because he's, like, really awkward and, like, isn't funny at all. <laughs> my, my body is ready. <laughs> I I love the picture. Every time I see it, I laugh. The the DS that is like it prints money. Mm-hmm. I just laugh every time I see that. I, st- I street passed Reggie on Animal Crossing the other day. Did you? Did you? Yeah. He uh, it's if you connect to the internet, you can street pass with him. Oh, wow. He he meets you and he has his me face as his mm-hmm. Animal Crossing face, <laughs> and his phrase is "My body is ready." <laughs> <laughs> I I love that he's when he's uh his face is over. The Hulk from the Avengers. Oh. He's like, that's my secret. My body is always ready. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen one where they just made Bruce Banner's eyes really red, and they're like, how do you how do you conceal your highness from people all over the place? And he's like, that's the problem. I'm always high. <laughs> also, Xbox One will not be launching with a headset. Be- oh boy, we have to buy one. That we you know what will though? Old one. PlayStation. Yeah. And they are actually mm-hmm. looking for an adapter to use your old one. Oh, they sound like Apple now. Yeah. Hey, you want to use your old cord? The controller is the exactly fucking same. Like, how can you not plug that in on the bottom like you do now? But yeah, they have to make it. An- supposed to be. No, we're talking about Xbox. Oh, okay. We're talking about Xbox. Sorry, I just mentioned that PlayStation comes with the headset. But yeah, Xbox... And you can use your old... Mm -hmm. If you spot like a $200 Turtle Beach one, you can still use it instead of having to buy a new one. Yeah. I think... Looking for adapters. I think now with the addition that the headphone jack is in the controller, um, I think I'm probably actually going to maybe go get a nice pair of headphones when I get my PS4. Because I just... Bluetooth fucking headset on the PS3 was not I wonder if I could plug in my old Xbox one. That'd be fucking hilarious if I mean, it were. It's just kind of a, kind of just an input, right? I think it's yeah. just universal. I think, like Xbox is the only one that does proprietary. 
Yeah. Sony's pretty cool about open source shit. Because, I mean, they use micro USB for their controllers. They um, use... the, the OS is a Linux. Yeah. It's an open source Linux. So Sony's never really had proprietary things, though. I mean, even the PSP had uh, the uh, the Duke XM. Memory Stick Duo that oh, wasn't yeah. proprietary. I guess Vita uses that stupid fucking stick. Those Vita oh, sticks. yeah, but I don't think it's proprietary. I think it can be used with, like, some cameras. Oh. Well, that's interesting. I know the Xbox uses, like, a, a mini, mini it use, headphone oh, jack. I thought it uses the 2.5, because regular headphone jack is 3.5 millimeters. Yeah, it. I think it does, yeah, it does use the, the 2.5. All right. I wonder, um, I wonder what the which PS4 is, which is pretty fucking uses. small. Like nothing uses that. That is very. True. That's my, probably why my they really used old it. phone used it. Yeah, my my very first <laughs> yeah. friend phone had one. They should go with just the hardcore quarter inch. Yeah, ones. That's what I have yeah. for my computer. Regarded, yeah. sir. Yeah, that's what I have it's for mine. Like too. an amp. Almost. Yeah, because <laughs> my headphone amp only takes quarter inch, so I have to plug. I have an adapter for my headphones. I plug it in. Yeah, I have a quarter inch adapter somewhere. Came with my headphones. I had two, but I lost one at SGC. You lost a lot of things at SGC. You lost that, your spoony picture, your laser pointer, your mind. Yeah, I wish I had my spoony picture. At least I still have my Ten Commandments dice signed by Spoony. Yes. Uh, EA may develop an offline mode for SimCity. Oh! Oh. May develop an (laughs) offline mode. When are they going to add bigger cities? That's my question. Well, other things they may be adding in their next expansion pack is uh, terraforming, farming. Oh, thank God. You could farm. Uh, city evolution, which allows you to see your city evolve over a 200-year span. Subway systems. The option to run your city completely on green energy. Stop masturbating. That'd be cool. <laughs> green Super skyscrapers. Compatibility with The Sims. <laughs> what? The introduction of a superhero and villain. Come on, that's pretty cool. You gotta, no. <laughs> come on. Come on, dude. They had that in the, in the original. You could get the Maxis Man. And the... So what? That's still cool. It's still cool to see... All right, it's uh, the PS4 uses a 3.5. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the Xbox uses the 2.5. Yeah. Well, where's larger cities? I actually have uh, I have a 2.5 to 3.5 adapter. I wonder if I could just plug that yeah. thing in. It'd be a pain yeah. in the ass though. There's like this like, hey. sticking out of it. Uh, the introduction, I already said that one. The option to build a military complex, the option to become a mob boss, and a ton of other productive and completely crazy things. I didn't hear any. Larger oh, cities. You know what? Uh, you know, I was going to be like, oh, Microsoft headsets would work, but those are two separate plugs. Mm. Yeah, and you can't use uh, Microsoft's pretty bad. You can't use the PC Xbox controllers with an Xbox 360. And you can't no, no, use I was an just, Xbox it's just like a, a it's it's just a standard. Like we went to Best Buy and bought some Microsoft headsets, oh. not the Xbox headsets. Well, I mm. still oh, understand. Yeah, those are two plugs. Yeah. What is the reasoning behind that, though? The two like, plugs? No, the PC Xbox 360 controller. Is not compatible with an Xbox 360. Oh Xbox yeah, that, that's fucking PC. stupid. Xbox 360 is compatible. Yeah, with PC. my wired one. That's what I play on my. Oh, PC. is the wired? Yeah, the wired one, the wireless ones. Yeah, you they, have to they get don't. the. Yeah. Yeah, but the wired. Yeah, because I kept my 360 wired. Yeah, that's what I use to play a lot of games on Steam. Is my 360 wired controller. Works just fine. I use a PS3 with the DS3 tools or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go through that much work. <laughs> PlayStation Plus members get to profit from a free copy of Battlefield 3 this month. I bought it. I, bought I it. own it on PS3. Like, I actually went out and paid 60 bucks, and then I bought it on Did Origin. you do it in all cash? No. I use credit now for everything. Uh, Origin. I could have got I know, Battlefield I know. 3 as my Origin free game. Origin's gross. That's, like, that is why I held out so long on buying it, because I didn't want to use Origin. And then finally I was like, God damn it, I want to play this game. Some... Some other deeply discounted games this month. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, The Amazing Spider-Man, Batman Arkham Asylum, Lord of the Rings, uh, what was that, Aragon's Quest, Mortal Kombat PS Vita, Mortal Kombat, Prince of Persia, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Shadow of the Colossus, and Ratchet and Clank Collection. I own a huge... How much was the Ratchet and Clank? Seven fifty. Oh, so, shit. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and buy that. Actually. Normally thirty bucks. Sale price is fifteen bucks. PS Plus price seven fifty. Oh fuck yeah, I'm buying that. Shadow of the Colossus is five dollars. I own that. That's on pretty good. PS2. Is it the HD remake? Yeah. Okay. The ones they offer on the stores uh, are the HD remake. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is two bucks. I already bought that. I bought that when it was ten. Let's well, say HD remake, but it's just they yeah. bump up the texture resolution and make it widescreen. <laughs> yeah. 
<coughs> Sony is going to refund the difference for overpriced Deadpool digital purchases. See, Deadpool on the digital market was supposed to be forty nine ninety nine, yeah. but it released as fifty nine ninety nine. So they're going to refund that ten dollars. Yeah, that's on, so cool. On Steam, it's thirty nine ninety nine. Probably, I've noticed that PC releases are always usually ten bucks cheaper than consoles. I don't know why, but I've seen I've seen that trend mostly. I remember Portal digital distribution, less yeah. greed. Uh, Portal Two was fifty nine ninety nine, and then I bought it. Actually, I received it as a gift, but it's fifty nine ninety nine for PS three and Xbox, but forty nine for computer. Part of it's uh, also curb pirating. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because I thought about buying the Deadpool game when I saw it at thirty nine ninety nine. I was like, shit. Wait for the summer sale. Yeah. If, man, even if it doesn't go on sale for the <laughs> summer sale, I still might get that Deadpool game. It Borderlands cool. 2 came out like in winter, and it was in the winter summer sale. Or the, not the winter, the winter summer <laughs> The winter sale. summer the winter sale. The winter Steam sale. It was on sale. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't think it will be, but if it's not, I still might get it. I've yet to play. I downloaded the Tiny Tina DLC. I yeah. I've been playing the it's last fun. I haven't played it in a long time, but it's nice. fun. Nice. In, in, lean into your mic, right, Tyler. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, just a question: Are video games too easy now? Yes. Yeah, I will say the most challenging one I've played in the past like generation was probably God of War three. God of War three. I, you know, the thing I, is, a lot of people want to compare them with the NES hard games. But when I, when I look at it, and I agree that their the games are kind of easy now, but a lot of the NES hard games were unrealistic, like Battletoads. Yeah. That's just, that's just not okay. Well, it's, it's coupled with trying to get more gameplay time and... Oh, I know glitches. why they do it. Yeah. I know why they made them that hard. But Battletoads, something like that, is just unrealistically I've hard. I've never been to the third stage of Battletoads. Like, Mega I've Man never. is hard, but it's like not... It's not unrealistically you can beat it. hard. You can beat it. Well, I mean, it's like Ninja Gaiden's not hard. It's just really glitchy, and that makes it harder than it actually Same is. Same with, like, Fester's Quest. Really hard game, but that's just because it's fucking glitchy. I've but, played some hard games, I mean, in my life. But, I mean, even, like, especially the, the newer Halo games, like Halo 4 and Halo Reach, yeah. Legendary's not hard. Yeah. Not hard at yeah, all. Yeah, they've been Dude, making... Even Halo 3 wasn't that hard. Bioshock Infinite. Halo, Halo 3, the thing with Halo 3 was it was difficult, but they got rid of the thing where if one of you dies, you both go yeah. back. Halo 1 and Halo 2 on Legendary, if one of you died, you both had to go back to the checkpoint. And that, That's actually one of the big problems I have with Borderlands 2, is it's it's way too easy. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's fun, but it's like, there's no... There's no, like, risk. It's just Especially like, I'll just you, go crazy, and if I die, my teammate's still alive. They can revive me. It's whatever. Especially if, yeah, you play with people. It's really easy. And, yeah, and, like, Gears of War, the insane mode, not yeah. that hard, really. Just more difficult a little bit. but like I remember Tom and I beat insane mode in, like, two days. I mean, all you, all you got to do is slow down. You mm-hmm. just can't run out there, and that's, that's not that difficult, really. The only thing I thought was actually hard was uh, Gears of War 2. Two, when on insane when you had to fight Scourge, he was a. Bitch. I really hated those fucking the where you're riding and you have to shoot the things in the air. Oh yeah, that pissed me off. Yeah, that was Fuck. some rage quits there. So that was just a just a question I wanted to float out to you guys. I'd say there are some hard games. Yeah, but I'd say that the most the majority of games these days are a lot easier. It seems like hard games are a novelty. Yeah, like Dark Souls or like and, Super like, Meat Boy. Like yeah, Super Meat Boy. Yeah. That like, game. You can sell it on the fact that it's hard rather than that being kind of the way it is. Hey, have you played any Rush Bros? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's a good game. Yeah, I, I should play more. I didn't play as much yeah. as I wanted I to. I played yeah. about like two hours worth. Nothing. Yeah, I, I, I played about 20 minutes. I haven't <laughs> played a game on Steam since May 30th. May 30th? Jeez. Well, we're going to be playing Civ this week. Oh, yeah, so. we're going to be playing a lot of Civ this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it comes out, doesn't it? It does. It comes out tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. Does it preload or does it just you gotta like it comes out and you gotta download it? You gotta download it. God damn it! I love when Steam lets you preload shit. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's go into technology news. How do you kill that which has no life? It's time to turn up the hype machine and break out those wallets. Shut up and take my money. It's time for technology news on Three Hit Combo. So, guys, the largest structure ever built has been opened in China. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's 1.7 million square meters. Holy crap. Um, it's 18 stories tall, glass and steel frame structure. 
uh, sits above a new subway station. That is what you will find inside is a 14-screen IMAX theater, shops, restaurants, offices, hotels, a Mediterranean village reconstruction, and finally, a massive artificial beach that boasts realistic sunsets and sea breezes. And sea water slides. Breeze. Well, of and course. And some really sweet water slides well, in my Of course, picture. it has water slides. But, uh, yeah, pretty goddamn huge. It looks it looks really cool, too. Oh, it's like all glass and stuff. Yeah, it beat the last building by 500,000 square meters. Oh, my meters. God. They didn't just try to beat it. They... By uh, square, square feet. They, they didn't try to beat that. They, they just fucked that in the ass. So, I, that kind of sucks that they're using two units of measurement. It's 1.7 million square meters, beat out the last one by 500,000 square feet. Yeah, because uh, they just, like... Make it universal. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Gizmodo. God damn it. No, I mean, feet to meters is one of the easiest. It's, like, roughly three feet. Like well, yeah, it's a, or almost a yard. Yeah, or a little over a yard. But still, it doesn't matter. Keep your stuff consistent. Ten years ago, today, actually, Opportunity Mars Rover began a 90-day mission that never ended. Yeah. Thing's still going, guys. That's so awesome that they built something ten years ago, and it's on Mars, and it still works. Yeah, they expected it to work for 90 days. 3,449 days later. <laughs> it still works. It's driven nearly 23 miles around the surface of another world. Its discoveries include the first meteorite found outside of Earth, a temperature profile of the Martian atmosphere, a tiny iron-rich sphere known as blueberries, uh, a hint at which the time Mars had water. In fact, Opportunity's most important discovery may have come just last month, a rock that proves Martian water was once drinkable. Yep, I remember reading about that. That's pretty freaking What's cool. What's the new one they just sent up? Curiosity. Is that it? Cur- Curiosity rover? Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, those are some pretty cool water slides. Yeah, yeah it's Curiosity. All right. Let's go to China. Yeah, let's go to China. <laughs> let's go to this artificial beach. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really in the mood to go to China. <laughs> no, yeah. On our way back, we'll just stop in Dubai and go to the the indoor skiing yeah. resort, which well, isn't well, that cool, by the way, actually. What's kind of cool is Opportunity, like, just, it got stuck in the sand for, like, a, I think it said two months. Got stuck in a sand <laughs> dune for two months. And, like, when you're on the ground, you know, like, Apparently they just wiggled it out centimeter by centimeter to get it out, but like if you're on the ground, you gotta be thinking, "Well, fuck!" It's not like you can just go and pick it up yeah, and put it, yeah, just put it somewhere else. You know that thing's on its own, man. <laughs> hey, man, solo. Hey, yeah, man. Call it, call a tow truck. Let's yeah, go to the Martian tow truck. Bring in the other rover to tow it out. <laughs> the other rover's like the size of an SUV. You probably yeah. can tow it out. Yeah, that thing's huge. You just have to like, you know. Somehow put a, put a trailer up. hitch on it or <laughs> <Yeah>. something. <laughs> just like run into it, nudge it. Yeah, just mm, <laughs> you know, nudging. It, yeah, breaks it. They mold into one rover. One super rover. The RIAA just got insanely fast at censoring links yeah, from Google. Right oh, are you? Yeah. Nice. So, Andy, why don't you do the story? Now I'm alright. I'm still reading it. Oh no, I'm alright. <laughs> I've never done stories. <laughs> don't put me on the spot. Andy, you can read. It should come as no surprise that the RIAA of all organizations it is particularly fast with DMCA takedown requests. A bunch of the RIAA just had its 25th millionth link removed from Google search results. And it's not slowing down. It just passed the 20 million milestone last May. So since last May, in the, I guess, 14 months, it has removed 5 million links. That's, that's a shitload of links, dude. I yeah. guarantee, like most of them are Mediafire because you cannot find anything on Mediafire anymore. And probably is that what uh, I use for the podcast? Yeah, that's what I use for the podcast. Mediafire for a direct download. Everything gets taken down. Luckily, I own the rights to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've even like tried to like dodge it. Like I'll name like files like Japanese kittens dot rar. <laughs> when I've like, uh, when I've uploaded like TV shows and stuff to YouTube, yeah, I'll name them some weird name. Like, I, I uploaded the the Diamond Dallas Page shoot, and, like, he does yoga, so <laughs> I just I just called it Shooting Yoga with Diamond Man. <laughs> <laughs> I use super abbreviations. Super abbreviations? Just, like, abbreviate. It's like, just really the letter long. S. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you get. Guys, where do you think the middle of nowhere is, technically? 
Utah. Uh, I was going to say Idaho. Andy's got it. Nice. The middle of nowhere when you compare highways, like how you can get to and from oh, really? these places. Yeah. Oh. So the hardest places to go to, apparently, uh, Idaho, followed by, looks like a little piece of Arizona, followed by Utah, Montana, Nevada. And guess what? Most of the Midwest? Somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of freight lines. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. No. We, Nebraska's got a really good interstate. You can system. get you can get to and from pretty quickly now by air to get to and from places. Idaho is actually not that bad. Really? It's weird. What's the worst flying? Looks like Wyoming, followed by Nevada and then Utah. Ugh. Dude, why Utah's would you go to Wyoming? Terrible. Maine is pretty bad with roads too. Well, that's because they're like Maine they're... has like the northernmost part where it's just like yeah. just like it's a state that should have roads. But I mean, no one lives in like the northern part of Maine. I know that's the same with Idaho. That's why I'm just sharing information that Maine is included. Nobody wants to go to Maine. No one wanted to listen to your information. <laughs> um, by air, Nebraska is pretty good still. Only that... We got I, a lot of crop dusters. Well, that's it's by airports. So just because you have a lot of crop dusters doesn't mean you have a lot of... It could be used as emergency airfields. A lot of airports. I wonder, if it, I wonder if it counts airports or airfields, though. It probably counts airports, because there's probably a lot of airfields in Wyoming. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have a lot of airports in Nebraska, though. We, But the thing is, they're big enough to be accessible by a large part of the state. Yeah. I mean, in this city, we have two, three. We have Eppley, we have... Millard and Offutt. Yeah, Offutt and Millard, yeah. Millard's not very big, though. No, Millard's but... more private than it. It's, yeah. a, it's accessible. It's not an airfield. You can get, like, it's a Cessna airport. on there, and that's yeah, about it. Yeah, if they it. needed to land shit on it, they probably could couldn't like land a 747 on it though you want bet <laughs> <laughs> just take out like the runs of nearby <laughs> landed <laughs> score got it hey guess what your next smartphone will be able to do watch me poop make me pancakes no and no uh. disinfect itself oh really all right yep. uv i'm guessing uh no Antimicrobial coating used oh. on new Gorilla gu- Glass. Ooh. It can kill virtually any nasty microbes on the screen surface over the course of two hours. Now, it's not instantaneous, but it's way better than having a pocket Petri dish. That's not bad. That's yeah, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I bet the new iPhone will use that, and that's what I'm going to get in it. They'll release, like, a supplement iPhone again. I'm going to stick <laughs> with the, the iPhone. It's the iPhone huh? 5S2. It will be the 5S. It, there's no fucking doubt about it. Uh, I get a new phone tomorrow. Ooh, what'd you get? Droid, D, uh, yeah, Droid DNA. Nice. Those are, those yeah, are it's a really nice phone. Nice. I wanted to go for the uh, Galaxy, the new Galaxy. Yeah. But man, fucking just upgrading your phone. They, every page, like, you, I ordered it and you have to go, you know, through different pages, like confirmation. Yeah. Every page they're adding like 30 bucks onto it. What? Upgrade fee, taxes, shipping fee. I'm just like, holy shit. You know, I was looking to spend about $100 out of pocket. And now I'm looking at spending like $200 out of pocket. Because I had an upgrade and a gift card. Oh. So I was like, man, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to buy that. Yeah, that's stupid, dude. Yeah, they have like a, Verizon has that $30 upgrade fee, which is fucking dumb. Why would they say you have an upgrade if yeah. they're going to charge you an upgrade fee? Yeah, it's an upgrade fee. It's you, fucking you, you, stupid. Yeah, you get your phone $100 cheaper. Well, actually $70 cheaper because we're going to charge you $30 just dude, to do it. Dude, phone companies are the fucking devil. I know. God, they phone companies the fucking... suck. Devil. Nah, I'd say internet companies, like cable companies, are worse. They're both the yeah, devil. They're both. AT and T owns like. But a, they're slightly more evil. Like, it doesn't matter, Tyler. Yeah, they're both Verizon the devil. Verizon is both. Verizon is fucking devil. It's fucking cable companies. Cable's like phone, on the seventh layer of hell, and then like banks. cable companies are on the six and the half. Banks are pretty fucking evil. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the man. It's evil. Corporations, Walmart. <laughs> That's pretty evil. Target's evil. Target's less evil than Walmart. I'd rather shop at Target than Walmart. Tyler has an here. evil scale. You should see it sometime. Yeah. yeah, he's worked on it. It's actually in my room. It's like this big, huge... It takes up almost the entire wall. Huh. You want to know the most evil thing on the yeah. scale? Bears. Yep. Bears? Yep. They're right there at the top. <laughs> Why? And then right below them, polar bears. <laughs> and then right below those, panda bears. I don't trust them. <laughs> Koala's there, too. They got bear in the name. <laughs> Dude, just give the koala some eucalyptus. That dude will trip balls. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen what a koala bear looks like when it's wet? Yes. It it's looks scary. it looks like a demon. Yeah. I've actually heard they're really nasty from someone in Australia. Like they actually they bite and like scratch. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. 
Yeah, they look cute, but fuck touch. Yeah, they more. look like assholes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that will do it for technology news. Let's go into news. Are the newspaper and the internet letting you down? Oh, they have the internet on computers now. We're here to give you the best of the best. This is news. Okay, so they're pretty fucking insane in Brazil. Oh, is this about the ref? Yeah. Yeah. Out of Sao Paulo, police say enraged spectators invaded a football field, stoned the referee to death, and quartered his body. Now, what do they mean? Do they mean, like, literally quartered, like... No, that would mean the, they draw... The, they put Yeah, draws, you tie ropes on Okay, apart, that's what apart. I thought. I didn't know if they meant, like, quartered as in, like, cutting. No, that's quarters. what quartering is. Which okay. then you end up in five pieces. A torso, head... Two arms, two legs. They really went above and beyond to quarter. A- unless, you, unless you take the head off, too, then that's six pieces. At least they had the decency to kill him before they quartered him. Yes, <laughs> but dude. Now, they did this after the referee stabbed a player to death. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd understandably be mad, but do you think someone's, like, has the fucking rope? They're like, ah! Yeah, they come who, to the who game is ready with, with fucking that? rope. Yeah. And what did they use? Do they use cars to quarter him? Do they <laughs> they must have, or they did like tug of war. I mean, there oh was, my god! I mean, there was a whole stadium full of people there. You could have tug of war that shit. I mean, I mean, they're Brazilians. They're not really human. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened was the referee expelled a player, and the two got into a fist fight. So the referee took out a knife and stabbed him, and he died <laughs> on the way to the hospital. Huh. So they rushed the field. What do you even do in that situation? You and can't the, really, like, charge the it, entire state. And the thing is, that was actually last weekend. So, like... <laughs> oh, really? They must have... I guess they planned it. I bet this it. Is, that had to be planned. Then. They it must was last have weekend. It. I thought it was, like, he killed them, and then they rushed the field. But first of all, how's that guy not in jail? Or at least it's being Brazil. questioned? Yeah, how is he gruffing another game? It, it's, not, <laughs> like, it's not fucking, like... Brazil! It's not, like... I'm trying to think of a country I could throw under the bus. It's not Syria. <laughs> you know? Dude, this is the same country that's holding the Olympics next year. Yeah, that'll be fun. They're mostly civilized in Brazil, though. Yeah, that's I what I mean. I'm... Child prostitution is an all-time low in Brazil right now. <laughs> but th- that's what I'm saying is like I know it's not a Western European or like the U.S. It's not though, first or world, Canada. to say the least. Yeah. But it's close. They're very developing. You know, it's just that's pretty vicious. Like someone literally thought, okay, everybody, we're gonna stone him to death, and then we're gonna quarter his body. There was planning. Yeah, there was a lot of planning. I blame the Europeans. They invented the torture method. They got they got inspired by it. Maybe they watched <laughs> too many medieval movies. They watched Man with the Iron Mask, and they were like, oh, hey, this looks like a good idea. Yeah. Let's, let's show that ref who's boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he won't be laughing now. Yellow card this, bitch. <laughs> All right, guys. Jody Rose, a six hundred or sorry, six hundred year old woman. Ah, that'd be sweet. <laughs> no, Jody Rose, an Australian artist, marries the love of her life, a six hundred year old French bridge. So sweet. Where she married a bridge? France. France. Oh, I'd hope it's in France. She yeah. married a French bridge in southern France. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. All right. Married the bridge. I saw this documentary, by the way. A pretty weird documentary about these guys in love with their cars. Oh, yeah. Like, literally in love with their cars. Have sex. Yeah. Yep. Like, in a tailpipe? They, yes. Yeah. They were like, the tailpipe is the anus of the car. But, like... That's like how you have anal sex with a car. Metal. Yeah. Yep. Do they, like, coat it with, like, like a... I, I, I you know, don't know. Like a flashlight or something? Yeah, they just, they <laughs> but just it was touched like a documentary. on the subject. It was a documentary, like, following two guys, and they were, like, on I've a road... They were on a road trip to a car show. And one guy was especially creepy. Like, he goes up to cars and he, like, reaches under them. Like, he's grabbing their nuts or something. Like raping like, cars. <laughs> <laughs> he did to the other guy's car. The, <laughs> uh, the other guy's car, the camera guy woke up in the middle of the night and looked out in the parking lot and got the camera ready. And he was jacking off on the other guy's car. <laughs> <laughs> he just go to the police. Yeah. He, he was raping my car. And so, like, eventually he told him. And the guy's just like, did you jizz on the car? <laughs> It's so weird, and this guy, I kind of am pissed at the cameraman for this, but clearly showed this guy's boner at the, <laughs> ca- at the car show. He was walking around with it, like, putting his head on the cars and, like, reaching under <laughs> them and stuff, and they were, like, showing people walking by going, look at that shit. What's that guy doing? 
I mean, I've heard of like people saying cars are sexy, but that's taking things the, to a whole. The other level. guy loves his car, but he's not as rapey yeah, with them. Yeah. <laughs> he's just he loves it. He loves it. Yeah. Do you think if she were to divorce the bridge and went in a settlement, France would have to pay her? No, because I don't think it's a legally binding marriage. Uh, you can't legally marry a bridge. You can't legally marry a bridge. You don't know that. A bridge is not a consenting adult. <laughs> Dude, we federally allowed gay marriage, man. Next, goats. Yeah, what's next? Yeah. Yeah. Goats. What's next? Bridges, bridges, bridges marry, marry bridges. that lamp. Fucking attorney general in this state equated gay marriage to marrying your chair. You guy's a douche. <laughs> guy's a fucking I, I douche. Know. No, I just don't understand, like, why are Republicans all like, oh, what's next? Marrying our goats? Like, yeah. what's, are we going to marry our sisters? Can, really? Can we do that? Really? Yeah, can, can, we, can we, come on, can we do that? <laughs> can we marry my goat? Can we do that? I want to marry my goat. No, you can't marry a goat because a goat is not a consenting adult. <laughs> Just like a child. <laughs> can't marry a child because it's not an adult and can't give consent. But technically, I guess What if the you're, parents, like, playing house, though? What if you're playing house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We've been playing house for 17 years. <laughs> Ever since little Timmy was four. <laughs> oh my God. What if, like, Timmy and Sally at age four get married because they're playing house and they're pretending to be consenting adults? Can they have a playing house marriage? Legally Dude. binding while they're playing house? Yeah, it's on Play Doh. If you're the parent and you go to check them and they're just four year olds just fooling around. Oh! God, Andy. I don't think four year olds would just start doing no. that. You guys no. playing doctor? Yeah, cool. mom with your lightsaber. Okay, the creepy okay. level of this podcast all right. is all right. critical. This is getting really rapey. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, this isn't going to help. <laughs> Brian Reed, a college baseball player, injured in a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> Undergoes surgery. Oh, surgery? <laughs> yep. Uh, 19-year-old Brian Reed, a pitcher for the amateur Seacoast Mavericks, got himself injured in a hot dog eating contest. The college sophomore not only finished last in a charity hot dog eating competition on Sunday, but he underwent surgery Tuesday to dislodge a piece of frankfurter caught in his esophagus. Do you know when he went back to that baseball team, the amount of just the amount of dick jokes? It's like, that dude, kid? you're not even good at it. <laughs> this quote: "I started swallowing really prematurely." Reed told the New Hampshire publication. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't handle that much meat. <laughs> hey, Matt, remember Nathan's hot dog? Yeah. Yeah, I was at uh, a bowling alley with Andy and a bunch of people, and we were just getting something to eat, and I really wanted a Nathan's hot dog. But everyone was staring at me when I was taking the first like, bite. They set it down, and we just <laughs> stopped. Every, everyone just... was at attention. Like, the second I took a bite, everyone was like, how's that wiener? <laughs> I was, like, about ready to choke on it because I was laughing. <laughs> By the way, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, Joey Chestnut set a new record. Oh, really? He ate 69 wieners. <laughs> <laughs> I said something on uh, either Twitter or Facebook. I was like, I think I, I think he knew what he was yeah. doing. He, pr- he probably <laughs> like, could have gone. He's like, for the 70th? He's like, no. <laughs> I could do 69. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to do 69 today. All right, there's a problem going on in Death Valley. Tornadoes. Is it hot? It, it's hot, yeah. So it, it is. It, it's very hot. Now, in Death Valley Park, they've got a problem with people leaving a lot of things on the ground. Condoms. No. Syringes. No. Dildos. Eggs. Eggs? A lot of people are trying to cook eggs on the pavement in Death oh, Valley. You, you, you can. You can, but people keep leaving eggs oh, everywhere. Leave That's eggs. fucked <laughs> Look, up. it's cooking. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go. They're having That's a problem with up. people cracking eggs and then leaving them. I bet we could have cooked an egg today. No, it has to be. Uh, it has like to be. Car. I think like it has to be at least 115 degrees out to cook an egg or something. Well, the but asphalt could be a lot hotter. Yeah, if you leave there. something in the sun long enough, like but my it, black it was, car. It was, well, I mean, no, I mean it has to be like 115 for the asphalt to get that hot. Oh, sure I about think that. It is. Maybe it's. I know it's because I mean you can cook an egg on pretty low heat too. Yeah. yeah, it just takes a while. But at the same time, it was only it was like 90 degrees today. Oh yeah, it, it was probably humid. felt worse it because you know what? The AC stopped working at our Panera. Yeah, that's fun, especially when you're working over the soup. Yup. I almost contemplated turning the fireplace on, so it was so miserable, no customer would want to stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to go to Florida. We're going to start off with a Florida teen who bit his grandma and punched his grandpa over missing wine. <laughs> this just goes to the aggravated assaults with, like, typical Florida with food and drink. When 59-year-old Sue Wilson returned to her Deltona, Florida home Tuesday, she noticed two bottles of wine empty. She confronted her seemingly drunk 19-year-old grandson, Blake Hale. 
If there's one thing we know about a drunk 19-year-old in Florida, they usually do not act like shining examples of humanity. <clears throat> and his name is Blake Hale. Blake Hale. That's a, that's a cheat. That's a B-movie action star name. Hale became defensive about the accusation and began yelling and slinging obscenities at his grandma. Things turned physical when Wilson trying to walk out the front door. Hale then bit her on the shoulder. Hale's 70-year-old grandfather also got involved, and Hale punched him. <laughs> dude, what the fuck are up with people, dude? Hale got arrested on battery charges. And being... Underage drinking? Well, yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Battery outweighed. I'm sure they'll tie that on. Yeah, they'll probably throw that out and they'll just give them the battery. Also, 1.1 million worth of vodka was stolen from a Miami warehouse. Nice. In a brazen crime that should have sent shivers down the spine of bottle serving loving bros. Uh, 1.1 million worth of premium vodka was stolen from a warehouse in northwest Miami Dade County. Bro! The booze heist went down June 22nd. A group of men showed up at the warehouse full of merchandise waiting to pass waiting to pass customers with a car, van, and truck. The thieves knew exactly what they were looking for and bore a hole into the wall right where the vodka was stored. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's like kind of like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Over the course of five hours, they loaded 752 cases of the stuff into the vehicles and took off. Holy shit. Now, this wasn't just any vodka. This was Spirits of the Tsar's Golden Vodka, which retails for $300 a bottle. Jesus. Oh, my God. If you buy it in the club, 1000 bucks. Oh, my God. They got some good shit then. Do they get caught or they scot free? I think they're scot free right now. They're offering a five thousand dollar reward for the one point one million dollars worth of vodka. <laughs> if anyone knows anything about the case, then call seven eight six six two nine twenty twenty two. What a heist! Or three hit combo podcast. I mean, you gotta, yeah, if anyone knows who these people are, email us. <laughs> three hit combo podcast. You gotta, you gotta give it to them. I mean, no one, no police officer would think someone would be stupid enough to drill a hole in a wall <laughs> and like tap yeah. the vodka. Remember the maple syrup. The maple syrup heist in yeah. Canada, like a severe, like it was like, like a national emergency, uh, yeah. Yeah. like a, sh- yeah. a literal shortage of maple syrup because of it. <laughs> it was like, the end yeah, of it Canada. wasn't good. Yeah, they were worried. All Things right, were happening. final story for what the Florida. The final story for news. Final story for the podcast. Florida may have accidentally outlawed the internet. Really. In March, an illegal gambling ring out of internet cafes ensnared 57 people on racketeering charges and led to the downfall of Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Carroll. Florida's legislators quickly jumped into the mess, rushing to pass a bill to outlaw online gambling cafes. Only problem, in their haste to act, they may have accidentally outlawed the entire internet. (laughs) That's the claim, at least, behind a new lawsuit filed in Miami-Dade County. They said, quote, they rushed to judgment and essentially criminalized everything, Miami Attorney Justin Kaplan said. The problem, Kaplan argues, is that the law defines illegal slot machines as, quote, any system or network of devices. Oh, so that's nice and broad. (laughs) Yeah. That's not specific at all. He said, that's so broad, they literally outlawed the internet and the cell phones and everything they used to make the bill. (laughs) He wants it thrown out, of course. Uh, They'll probably just the internet. The old people don't even know how to use it in Florida. (laughs) Like if Florida didn't have the internet, I wouldn't have this blog to get all the Florida news yeah, from. That's true. We need the internet. Yeah, what am I going to do? Read the newspaper? <laughs> Bullshit. I refuse to buy that paper. Nobody uses newspaper. The only time I ever use the newspaper is I get Metro when I was bored between classes. Yeah. Crossword puzzle. Here's the newspaper. Or USA Today. Oh, all right. Going to read that. I, I, did, li- I, did, like the, I did like the free, yeah. the free paper. Free papers was kind of nice, to be honest. It was good to just kill time with between classes. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Remember, you can find us on Facebook.com slash 3 combo podcast, Twitter.com slash 3 combo PC. That is number three PC stands for podcast. Email us at 3 combo podcast, gmail.com. Search us on YouTube.com, 3 combo podcast, and find us on 76streetnetwork.com. So for Tyler and Andy, this is Matt signing out.